Hello traders and investors, welcome back to the Trend Trader channel. In today's episode, we'll be going through some of the companies that will be reporting their earnings in the coming week or the first week of August 2022. Depending on the companies, some of the companies are reporting their quarter 2 results, some are reporting their quarter 3 results. Like we did with the previous video, we will also cover some of the companies that you are interested in specifically the companies that you already have in our portfolio and also the companies that we think or the companies that are on the watch list that we, we might consider adding into our portfolio once again the list of companies that will be reporting the earnings are taken from earnings whisper like we mentioned in the previous video earnings whisper you can follow that uh, twitter account and then you'll be able to get all these uh, companies some of these companies they report before the market open as you can see here and then some of these companies will report after the market close so in the past we've covered a couple of companies at some point we were bullish on energy stocks we see here there is a devon energy oxy and uh, let me see where's the other energy company but yes previously we were bullish on the energy sector and then there are some companies that uh, are famous from retail investors because they like uh, those companies since they believe those uh, companies represent uh, the future some of those companies include uh, companies like uh, sophie and also lucid there are people that were invested in lucid lucid is a is an ev manufacturer but also other people like uh, robin hood robin hood is a stock brokerage a platform that retail investors are using and then some of the companies are old companies that have been consistently profitable at least or they have got uh, less challenges from newer coming companies such companies uh, such as uh, kellogg's and we also see ferrari there ferrari is a company that sells a um, high-end product there so they don't really have a lot of uh, competitors for for their product and then the company that uh, i'm interested in that i will cover a bit in debt is a uh, lily lily is a pharmaceutical company we have a position there so i'll cover that company a bit um, in broader terms but we see that uh, there's also starbucks there starbucks just uh, below a pnb it will also be reporting this uh, their earnings this coming week so we will have a timestamp if you're interested in a particular company you should just look at the bottom there you will see the different timestamps uh, that are covering the different uh, companies okay so let's start with the company that uh, i'm interested in which is a uh, lily to the company lily it's a pharmaceutical company it's a u.s pharmaceutical company just in case uh, you haven't figured it out so they've got uh, a lot of these um, financials so the previous 2021 financials we can see that um, lily is a 28 billion revenue generating company with a net income of about a 5.5 billion we see that for 2021 the earnings per share they were reported to be about a six dollar 12 cent and then the dividends that were paid for the full year of 2021 was $3.40. And then they've got, because it's a pharmaceutical company, they've got a big bill in terms of uh, research and development there. If you look at this, uh, the recent announcement from June 27th, uh, 2022, you will see that the company declared a dividend of $0.98 cent per share. Right, this div dividend is going to be paid on September 9, 2022. This company, depending on which broker you are using, if you are using Ease Equities, the company is available on Ease Equities. If you are also using Etor, the company is also available then on Etor. Then, if you look at the recent uh, quarterly result for 2021, which uh, 2022, which was quarter one, then we find that uh, this company, they re this company reported, they reported this result. They came from April uh, 28. So the results that are coming this week are going to be quarter two result uh, of 2022. So we see that uh, in quarter one, the company increased its revenue by 15% there. And this excludes money that came from COVID-19 related uh, product. You can see here the other businesses outside COVID-19, they generated or uh, the revenue grew by 6.6 or uh, 660 million um, US dollars there. I nearly said uh, rents. So the revenue outside uh, COVID-19, it grew by 660 million. This is encouraging because, well, we know that uh, in South Africa specifically, some of the restrictions have been removed. Uh, people, Some people are vaccinated some people are still taking booster shot and this is not the only company that uh, generates stuff uh, for COVID-19 so there is a bit of some competition there so it is encouraging to see that this company is able to generate money out of uh, the coronavirus disease there 
hey then they report that they've got uh, other drugs that are in a pipeline that will be ready uh, maybe they will get uh, fda approval and then those products will be sold uh, to the market and then we see that the quarter one earnings per share they increased by 41 percent any earnings per share increase that is greater than 20 percent it's good uh, earnings per share then we see that they gave uh, earnings per share guidance for 2022 to be somewhere between a uh, seven dollar 80 cent and seven dollar 45 cent so we'll see what kind of uh, earnings that they will report here but what we would like to see this coming week i would like to see the earnings per share increase by more than a uh, two dollar uh, 10 cent there but also keep in mind that the us has been reporting some kinds of a uh, recession their economy is struggling so anything is possible so we'll see what a uh, result that uh, are coming in there so let's look at the chart uh, of lly where we have that uh, position as you can see it's a stock that is listed in the new york uh, security exchange the reason for buying this company is very simple the stock has been on a downtrend you know that already that uh, we are attracted to stocks that are trading uh, in an uptrend we bought this stock uh, of following several occasions we bought it when it broke above this level here and then we bought more of the stock when it broke above uh, this level so we have two positions there that we took so we see the stock is currently uh, stuck in this uh, trading range so depending on the kinds of result uh, that we might see this coming week if the results are positive then we can expect the share price to shoot up a bit there but if the results are negative then maybe the stock uh, can pull back a bit then remember every time when the result come there's a bit of volatility in the market and we need that uh, volatility to push uh, the price uh, further up but if you look at the recent previous buys you saw that when it broke above that level it did with a large uh, amount of volume and then when it broke above this level uh, before march uh, before april 2022 it also broke above with a decent amount of volume so if there is a breakout today we would like to see another decent amount of uh, volume forming there then that will give us confidence that the stock uh, is ready to push uh, further up so that is the stock that is on our watch list uh, for this coming week and this is the setup uh, that we are looking to play if the stock uh, break lower then we will close our position but at this moment there is no reason because we still have these uh, lows maybe if the stock uh, break below this low then we will consider uh, closing our position locking the profit from this position and then breaking even in this um, recent buy that uh, we took there but we don't uh, expect that we'd like to see the stock uh, to continue to push uh, further up okay while we are still uh, in the context of uh, coronavirus stuff let us look at uh, moderna we know that uh, mrna also benefited a lot when it came uh, that COVID. remember when covid uh, started somewhere around well it started in 2019 but most of the pressure started around uh, march 2020 we saw a uh, moderna breaking above this resistance level of which it had been trading at this level for a while and then it retested this level before breaking above this uh, resistance level when the company reported that they have a drug that could be used uh, as a coronavirus uh, vaccine ever since then the stock uh, topped somewhere around uh, 480 and then it's been uh, on a downtrend then we see for quite some time the stock has been consolidating side way since the beginning of 2022 so depending on what the company is going to report if they're going to report positive uh, result but also what other medications they have in addition to a uh, coronavirus uh, medication so if they manage to come up with good results then we can expect the stock to break above this resistance level if it does that uh, with a decent amount of volume then it will be encouraging to take a long position however if the company does not come up with a new a medication or even with a positive result there in terms of earnings uh, sales revenue growth all those kinds of things then we might expect uh, to see the stock breaking below that uh, 110 us dollar reaching there if it does that then we will expect the stock uh, to continue to trade lower but we're not uh, predicting anything if they come up with good result chances are it's going to break above this range and then we can see the stock uh, pushing further up there but we don't have a position on uh, mrna or moderna we're just uh, sitting on the sideline we're going to see whatever result uh, that are coming 
okay another company that uh, people are interested in that you know some people are invested in is sophie technology this is a, a fintech company other people have uh, very much interest it's been covered on youtube by different uh, accounts we saw that uh, this company came up with an ipo just before the end of 2021 and uh, just before the end of 2020 then at the early of 2021 uh, the stock reached that uh, just nearly 28 dollars per share then it has been going sideways uh, since they're trying to break up Above this level on two occasions but uh, it failed and then we saw here just before the end of 2021 the stock started uh, to trade below this uh, 15 uh, dollar region there since then it's been going sideways we don't have a position in, in here so the stock fell before it just find support somewhere around uh, may 2022 and it has been a uh, trading sideways ever since we did a video where we were covering some stocks that people that requested that we cover some uh, u.s companies so at that time we said that the stock it's possible that it can go lower but it is also possible that uh, the stock can go higher so just by looking at where the stock is at like we said the stock is stuck uh, in this trading range remember this business is not uh, profitable at the moment they process uh, some payments them so we're not expecting any explosive result here maybe the best case scenario is that the company reduce the amount of cash uh, that they are burning there if they reduce that amount of cash and maybe if the revenue is increasing as well maybe we might see the stock uh, trade above uh, eight dollars per share if it fails then we wouldn't be surprised if the stock uh, break below this uh, five dollar region and then continue to trade low we don't have a position we don't have a problem with the company we're just going to sit on the sideline lines and see where the stock uh, it goes to we don't want anything negative <laughs> to happen in any stock all right another company that uh, some people are interested in is starbucks starbucks it's one of an old company it is also profitable in terms of share price it is not that uh, exciting but the company has a consistent history of dividend payment we saw that the company came to this a uh, level of about uh, 70 dollars and then now the stock is trying to continue to move uh, further up there we see it is currently at this uh, resistance level this is where it is at if we see nice a uh, positive result then the stock might break above uh, this level we're not expecting anything negative we saw that different companies reported different result remember that a uh, target and walmart they re reported a uh, well their result they couldn't beat the estimate but their forecast was that if there is recession in the us they might be affected but amazon we saw that they came up with a good result and the share price uh, shot up so anything's possible with these companies the economy is going to affect these uh, companies differently there's no one way uh, uh, around these companies so at this moment we don't have a position uh, on starbucks but once it breaks above this resistance level somewhere here then we might consider adding a uh, position a starbucks uh, position at the moment we don't have a position we're just uh, sitting on the sidelines waiting to see uh, <laughs> what is happening so above 90 dollar per share that is when we can consider to have a position on starbucks especially if we see more of this uh, green bars coming because it means that investors are accumulating the stock then we'll be confident in taking that uh, position right then another company that might be interesting is amd we saw last week uh, other companies that are involved uh, in, in in chips uh, making they have different uh, activities there so we see the stock at this moment is currently below this uh, resistance level remember this uh, resistance level at some point it was a resistance it broke above the stock came it found support and then for a while it acted as a support before the support uh, was broken once the support is broken we shouldn't be surprised if that uh, support then becomes a resistance level so the stock is back uh, near this a hundred dollar uh, resistance level if it fails to break above then we can see the share price continue to trade lower but depending on the result that they might come up with if the results are positive then we can see the stock uh, trade above uh, 105 dollars uh, per share there on amd but we have a position on nvidia so we are not really interested uh, in amd it doesn't matter what kind of result uh, that they come up with because both these uh, companies amd and nvidia they are chip makers so we're not interested in buying all the chip makers the one that broke out first is the one that uh, we're interested in if you can just uh, show you the chart of nvidia why we took uh, that position it's still uh, 
here we saw that uh, it seems like it found support here then it started uh, to push up there then we bought uh, a position so this coming week we would like to see nvidia breaking above that uh, 200 dollar per share but do keep in mind that there's plenty of overhead resistance if the stock uh, continue to push uh, further up there but we are happy to have nvidia in our portfolio not that we have a problem with md but we don't we just don't want uh, to over diversify and hold the same thing because they are both a uh, semiconductor company Companies. right finally let us look at uh, devon energy we mentioned that we previously had a um, position the current position that we have now in our portfolio is from exxon mobile so we're not gonna be interested in buying devon energy or occidental but just let us cover that we saw that these companies they really benefited on the price of brand crude as the price of brand crude was going up these companies also uh, pushed further high when the oil topped somewhere around 125 dollars per barrel and then started to pull back we also saw the same thing with these uh, companies they started uh, to pull back and then we see here this company then rejected the lower prices now it is starting uh, to come back up there it is still uh, trading just uh, in the middle of nowhere we're not interested in buying this company even though it looks like if we were to buy here we would have our stop loss here but the ideal scenario is that the share price continue to push further up comes to somewhere around 80 dollars maybe with a bit of consolidation before it breaks above then we can have a, a reasonable risk uh, to reward if you buy there and then we set a stop loss just a below that consolidation level so we don't have a position uh, on devon energy so this stock we'll see uh, we saw that uh, exxon mobile they reported nice uh, result we are not surprised remember some countries are trying to get rid of fossil fuel but some countries are benefiting a lot uh, on fossil fuel with exxon mobile we are fortunate because we just uh, got in somewhere there before that uh, breakout and then we have our stop loss just below the candle or the low of last week uh, candle so this week for exxon mobile we are expecting the share price to break above this uh, hundred dollar level there and then if the share price continue to push further high then we will be happy to have uh, this position to see where this position can take us okay and then the last uh, energy stock that we want to look at is that uh, occidental oxy so if you look at oxy it is a similar thing we see the share price when that oil tanked a bit the share price it pulled back coming back uh, to this level so now the share price is moving further up it will be interesting to see the stock above a uh, 75 dollars per share we don't have a position on oxy we saw that uh, Warren Buffett has been or Bekshi Hathaway has been buying a lot of these uh, OXY shares there so it is interesting we would like to see what is a uh, Bekshi's plan with uh, the stock we're not going to buy OXY just because Bekshi Hathaway is buying it we already have a position on uh, on Exxon Mobil so we are happy with uh, Exxon Mobil there but for people like uh, Bekshi Hathaway or Warren Buffett it's good to see such uh, astute uh, astute investors buying these uh, energy companies in there especially if there's going to be a recession because some of these uh, stocks they act as a hedge against uh, things like inflation or a recession so we are just waiting to see how if the stock is going to come back above this uh, $75 reach in there then it might uh, be interesting so these are all the stocks that uh, we are looking to trade uh, this week if there is a stock that would like us to cover then feel free to comment in the comment sections there and if you enjoyed uh, this video please uh, smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed uh, please uh, consider subscribing then one last company that has been problematic uh, is alibaba we had a video where we said that uh, we were bullish on alibaba we took a position in fact we took position on different uh, chinese stocks we had a uh, lee uh, there's a company called lee there well it has a full name but we bought alibaba we bought neo we bought lee uh, we bought pdd all of those uh, companies they quickly reversed well some people even joked to say that uh, we can't expect a bull market to start uh, with chinese stocks there's nothing wrong with a uh, chinese stocks the problem is just a uh, geopolitics as we can see that alibaba has been added by the sec uh, to a list of chinese companies that potentially face delisting the word on the street is that it may delist if uh, it does not give a uh, sec the access to the audited uh, results 
result of these uh, companies. This is reported uh, by Bloomberg. It is also reported by another uh, financial newspaper or a media company that cover financial stocks. As you can see, that it has been added on the delisting uh, watch list. And then they come up with uh, a lot of reasons why the stock is uh, falling. So just by looking at the chart, we can see we can easily see that we don't even need uh, to read the news to see that uh, there's something wrong with the company. So when we are buying Alibaba, we saw Alibaba coming near this level of about $80. When it broke above this uh, trend line, then that is when we established the position. Then we wanted to see Alibaba just uh, crossing this resistance level here. You can see that it came here somewhere around $120 uh, per share, but it failed uh, to break above this level, which was going to signal a bullish move. What it did, it just uh, it came back here from that resistance level. So now it is back to this uh, support level, where which was the previous support level. So depending on how the news in the US uh, come, and also news uh, from China, because this is a Chinese company, it can also be affected by domestic news uh, in China. We will see if maybe china support the stock maybe we might see it uh, pushing further up there but if china does not support the stock then we shouldn't be surprised if the share price break below that uh, 80 dollar uh, per share reaching there but at this moment we don't have a position we are waiting to see uh, what is going to happen uh, with this company we mentioned that we had a uh, pdd which is also another chinese uh, internet stock there you see that uh, it is pulling backwards our stop loss was somewhere around a uh, 55 dollars per share now the stop loss uh, was triggered we also had a position only or lee auto which also staged uh, a breakout when we bought the position we bought this uh, breakout here and then we had the stop loss uh, just below that breakout level as you can see the stop uh, is triggered so we have exited that uh, position anything can happen the stock can still come back here and then maybe we might be interested in buying the stock again otherwise the stock can can just uh, continue to fall so if the stock continue to fall we will be grateful that we, we exited with a small loss there that's the whole point of having a stop loss it's like an insurance premium because we don't know how big uh, the loss can be so it's important that we cover that uh, loss as quick uh, as possible another stock that uh, has disappointed us because we're looking forward in owning shares in this company uh, is neo so we also so when we we're buying alibaba we bought the stock as it found a uh, support here then we expected Neo to break above this uh, $25 uh, reaching there. Then the stock just uh, started to pull back, triggering our stop loss. So at this moment, we the stock can go down and then find support come back there however the stock um, place we don't have a position we only going to be interested if a uh, neo it either comes back above a uh, 25 dollars here at the moment but at the moment we don't have a, a position we are just uh, sitting on the sidelines it happens you buy a company it uh, trigger your stop loss then you just exit with a small paper cut loss while you sit on the side waiting to see how the stock is going uh, to perform we are not afraid or ashamed uh, to take those uh, small losses they are part of a uh, Oh, it's just a little cost of doing business. Our business is trading stocks. We're not uh, emotionally invested in any company. We just buy a company that is moving up and we sell companies uh, that are moving down. That is all that uh, we're interested in. So that's it. Uh, that's all for today. If you enjoyed uh, this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't uh, subscribed. And then you please uh, smash that uh, like button and feel free to share this video with uh, other people. Again, if you have any company that you would like us to come in this uh, youtube channel please leave the name of the companies in the comment sections that's it uh, for today we will see you in the next video